As we move about the sun, and the sun moves about the universe, our orientation and velocity must vary with respect to this proposed ether frame. This is the Michelson-Morley experimental setup. If light travels at different speeds in different directions, along paths of equal length, then when the beams from the two paths reunite, they will form an interference pattern. If, however, light travels at the same speed in all directions, no interference would be observed. In fact, no interference was observed, so no ether frame exists. Let's assume the ether frame moves relative to the Earth from left to right. Michelson Morley used a half-silvered mirror to split a beam of light so that it travels in two different directions along two paths of equal length. This is the light beam before it is split. Moving in a perpendicular direction to the ether frame, this beam would be blown off course and would have to travel a little further. Traveling back down this path again, perpendicular to the ether, would also move this beam off course, if the ether existed. This beam, moving parallel to the ether and in the same direction, would increase its speed. This beam, again parallel to the ether, but moving in the opposite direction, would be slowed down. Here the two light beams are recombined together, and if they are in phase, they will constructively interfere. But if the speed was different in the two paths, they would combine to give an interference pattern. The time for the trip back and forth along the path for the beam perpendicular to the ether frame would be given by this expression, which just makes use of Pythagoras' theorem. If the distance between the half-silvered mirror and the reflecting mirrors is d, then the time of the trip for the beam moving parallel to the ether frame would be given by the expressions shown here. If an ether frame existed, then the time difference along the two paths is just given by the expression shown here. This is a large enough difference with the speed of the Earth being 28.8 kilometers per second to be detected. The experiment failed to detect any difference in time along the two paths. They even waited for six months and repeated the experiment with the same results. This failure of their experiment allowed us to conclude that the ether frame does not exist.